there are parts of the Great Pyramid that vibrates to a specific pitch. Stones tuned to ring like a bell that literally match and create harmonic chords with each other and chambers that reverb corresponding pitches. There are also parallel casters cut into the walls all the way through the Grand Gallery that were meant to hold various components. These components would be similar to what we call Helmholtz resonators. Like the stones mentioned above, the entire King's Chamber is suspended isolated and insulated, freestanding as if meant to vibrate freely without affecting the external components. Today, we suspend motors within engine systems to keep the vibrations of external forces from affecting the motor and vice versa. Speaking of the king's chamber, the so-called coffer gives off an ominous sound when it is struck. There are various slots, notches, and grooves cut into the inner shafts that no Egyptologist has ever found good reason for. Obviously, looters and what Egyptologists call grave robbers have cleared out many of the mechanisms that would have fit into these slots and notches. Luckily, based on what relics are left over and displayed in museums behind glass, Dunn and many other engineers are able to extrapolate and even predict what types of mechanisms were fitted into these grooves. The same goes for shafts that dead end and doors that lead to nothing. Anomalies that make no sense for a tomb or any magical ceremonial purpose, but do meet the layout requirements of an industrial power plant. For more on this, see the full episode available below.